Yes. We're so ready for this one. I think it's going to be an exciting game. Gonna and some team over on the mainstream, folks. We're going to have Face Clan versus Astralis. And the question here on the C stream is therefore, can Astralis flawlessly pass through the group play and get that 5-0? And take Faze every have, Dust 2 match. Yeah, all of them. In the process. Just gobble them up. I mean, I think it's very likely. I think that their form is unquestionable at this point. They've been playing a great a form of Counter-Strike this weekend. Uh, and unfortunately for FaZe, you know, we, we've been talking about it on the desk quite regularly. This rebuilding of the map pool, this rebuilding of position and whatnot it's uh they're in a transition period while astralis are just they have in been for a long time though right? transition of dominance wanders yeah so yeah, no that's true it's uh it's a tough task ahead but uh, unfortunately for astralis you know that phase clan still pack a punch these are individuals you can't necessarily sleep on and we find ourselves on dust too yeah kind of yeah, kind of. Kind of. The kind of. They've been in transition period for for a very long time. It feels like, uh, and if they you know they want to stick with Adrian, that you know we can only give them so many ways out of the conversation of like you know how are they underperforming? But uh, here on Dust Two, Astralis have shown holes. They have like I'm um, close to uh, losing a match versus both Ents and Liquid. And here, oh my God, Magisk four frags with the what? USP all headshot almost all concurrently. That's insane how quickly he got those frags and he's on for the ace but Zipix is here at mid, the best mid to be player in the world I want to say to go ahead and steal that one away but that doesn't take away from how magical that 4k was. Launders, I looked at the I looked at the, the, the volume control, I looked back up and it was 5v1. What did I miss? This. Just tippity tapping the heads back Oh, they all tried to, and Magisk has other ideas. He has been playing phenomenally so far this weekend, uh, most notably here on Dust2 as well. Four of the five maps of Astralis have been on yeah. D2. All but so. overpass, right? Yep. So, And it's just been Magisk and Device, and Magisk some more, over and over, so it seems. It's crazy to think that, like, you know, I believe it was going into round four or coming into round five. Glaive was, was the lowest rated player at this entire event, uh -huh. and his team is still undefeated. And at times, it doesn't even look close. Man, but, his uh, impact is palpable damn. regardless of whether or not yeah. he's hitting shots. You of know, course. the rotation that we saw being called on Dust2, and, you know, that's the one Astralis game we've seen so far. We don't even know what we've missed because of all the simultaneous games running here at Blast Sao Paulo. Here now in the, in this maybe final Dust2 match um, versus versus FaZe, it is important for Astralis in some sense. Like they, they set up, they can, first of all, they have the chance of getting away clean into the final without losing a map, but also Ooh. it's one more map where their dust two is understood. They're going to run it one more time versus a formidable opponent with like good players on a very, in a very simple setting, and they're going to see if they can have a dominant win. If they can't, then that's going to be worrying for them because Astralis, or sorry, Liquid and Ents look good in every single map, oh. including their ones that they lost versus Astralis. Oh, that was a drive-by. Just pops Guardian outright. Now, can focus on the fight inside of the bomb site if he decides to. The other player for FaZe Clan has doubled back through tunnels all the way towards his teammate. And Glaive's hot on his heels. Player's close. Nico? Nico? Headphones may be off. Finally, we're going to get this Glaive back into the site. Close as well. Didn't see it. Maybe. No. Just going to jump on the bomb, try to tap this out. The peak comes the other way. He gets the kill, but with no kit, can't win the round. What's Nico up to? That's a big one, though. Out of nowhere. I mean, we get that long-range Glock shot to the back of Platt. That really opened things up. Even Zipix seemed like he was going to be fine holding the line. You saw him just floating around the doors, but he was actually hit by the Nico push through mid. You know, his back open. Guardian with a wall bang as well on there. So just uh, a little bit of form from FaZe Clan. Just needed to get the, the kit and play. FaZe come out with the Eco. Didn't even realize that, that so many trades went their way that fast. Um, but it is going to be a buyback in response. One to one here. Astralis going to go ahead and pick up whatever guns they can. It's not so bad for Glaive. He's here peering over top of an Xbox mode, camping in plain sight in some sense. Olaf Meister not going to be able to easily spot him. Might notice him off of that movement, but instead it's Glaive to get the better of a Swedish opponent. Devices here at mid double doors, and he's going to spot a shadow. Two digs in the back, and they might steal this eco back as well. Due to their opponents, what was done to them. Man, they're just perusing. They've got so much map control now. With the clamp down on mid. Swift headshot versus Nico. Adrian only able to get one. Guardian, 15 health at a distance. That's and he's a not just going to lose a scout. If he dies, that's an op. A cannon passed over to Astralis. Yeah, it's a minute-long save, too. Um, 
It's on hard mode. They, they've got the other team really wants to find him. He's just let them know exactly where he is. He's on 18 HP, and he's, again, he's got a minute to kill. He has some utility to work with. Even getting a few kills here would be big, so um, definitely going to be important to watch this. Wouldn't be surprised if he goes ahead and gets one. How many are you going to call it? Two. Two, okay. I got... Uh, I'm going to say one. All right. All right. Well, we're both a couple of losers. Right. I was going to say, and that's why we're commentators, but now I don't even know what that makes us. <laughs> you know, like, so unfortunate. Unlucky for everybody involved. Um, the, and suddenly that, that, that eco, that phase grab seems so long ago. Yep. Um, and so insignificant at times, too, because it, it's just pistols. Exactly. Between 15 and uh, $2,000 on everybody on phase. And for some Ooh, reason, they're buying in. into this round. Uh, Let's they, go are going up against really good guns. They're going up against a lot of bank. This is not typically a situation where you do force up in response. You do play the economic game of chicken when the other team just barely scraped back an eco, but not when they like kind of dominantly won it like that and recovered an op, retained a couple of AKs. Doesn't seem like there's a lot to gain here and, and very low chance of them actually pulling this win out. But um, maybe they'll make me eat my words. Three smokes in play for phase, but not a single flash. Is that peanut butter without jelly? Dry mouth just thinking about it. Smokes up the catwalk, possibly. Would break line of sight of that opera, but no. Pace Clan gonna double back. I mean, we question the investment into this. At least they have some utility. They could just carve out a path for themselves. Smoke CT spawn to potentially make that mid to be fake look convincing. When in reality. Yeah. It's going to be catwalk through and through. So two of those three smokes used oh, on the fake. But this is very real. A threat towards the A site. Zipex lining up bodies. Just going to find himself oh, two and another no, from Guardian. Let's go. What the heck was that? <laughs> Holy smokes, Guardian. <laughs> Wander standing on his chair at the moment. Three kills and three survivors. Face Clan. Back-to-back -back forced by wins. Give me that off back! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, I want to see them all. Deletes the man on the corner. Clears Zipex after he's taken a couple and... Brother. Oh. Brother. <laughs> yeah, do that. It really do be like that sometimes. Man. Hot tamales in a forced by back. Astralis. M4 ump. CZ Thieves. Enough utility to burn back Guardian for the moment. Like you said, give me that op back. He's positioned it on long. Their spots were just fine, uh, but um, yeah, there's not much you can do. Crosshair meets your face. Guardian's holding the deagle, <laughs> and uh, there's no inaccuracy for him that day. He also takes us off into the next round with another kill. And wouldn't it be cool to have to see Guardian just have a whole map to himself? I mean, you know, I'm 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 on new blood launders when it comes to Counter Strike, but I do remember if. And correct me if I'm wrong, like Guardian is a dust two god at times, right? Like this is this is one of those places where he would just individually shine. Yeah, I think he's just like results. I mean not results, but I don't know. He's just like the best offer ever. But uh Yeah, I mean he's he is he is really good on Dust Two. Um It's hard because there's like three, you know, maybe three, four elite offers or whatever. Yeah. They're pretty much like all really good at Dust Two. But yeah, he's he's fantastic. He is fantastic. Um, especially from Carr, like historically, and that's like his his main spot. But again, it's 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 a, it's a highly contested, contested map in that, that regard. regard. Uh, but yeah, it would be re it would be really sick, obviously, to see him do this versus the Strawless too. Whoa! Yeah, we got an angry Magisk man. We've got a rapid execute into the B site too. Not much of an execute, seeing as nobody dies for Astralis on the defense. They move their pieces back towards mid. Got a hot flank from Magisk to the bottom of the tunnels and a big flank from two of these players through spawn. So how many terrorists blow up with the bomb? Magisk actually finds footing inside of the site. That could have been a quick first kill, but... Guardian turns on a dime there. And then just like up to flick up to the window. Three CTs camping in spawn. Two removed. One goes unseen. USB can't recover. An AK Glaive goes down. Just Zipex out at mid doors. Normally where he likes to be. 
Running through the molly. <laughs> Guns down, Guardian. Oh! You know, you honestly gotta love that. Oh, he runs back into the crosshair of Olaf Meister. Doesn't recover the op, which is a big deal, I suppose. Guardian seemed to be aware of the thought that someone might run through the fire, but there was just like the, maybe the, the, the black smoke that was uh, clouding his vision, and he couldn't see through it. Um, but uh, yeah, FaZe Clan, go ahead. Pick up another round. They, they did steal it back with that Deagle Eco. I mean, it was just Guardian doing some magical stuff. Um, but I'll take it. That's awesome. They have, or they have a slight lead over Astralis, and I believe in their just two matches, Astralis had a, a strong lead to kick off both games. Now we'll see if FaZe can really run with it. They're taking it onto a rifle round now. Um, Olaf's going for the fast cap play. They clear out mid double doors fast. This saves them on a, on a Molotov, whether or not they want to use it. They can also throw out this piece of utility to stir up rotations, make Australis go, wait, wait, wait a second. I didn't know they were going to abuse mid this early. And then they, uh, they can get tons of map control for free nice and early. Now, Dust2 is a map where you can do all of the parts of the map control and go back to old ones with plenty of time remaining. So it's not that big of an advantage, not something to, to be too worried about um, on CT side, unlike Train, where like Ivy is very far away from everything else. Yeah. Um, on Dust2, you can kind of go uh, but between every choke point just by being at mid, being five seconds away from everything good. Um, but they're still going to have to make a decision shortly. And it looks like we've got some kind of split here. You'd expect the long players to be activated much later, considering we've got two guys on cap that need a lot of clearing to do. Take some damage, but they've caught in the open. Oh man, that, he was the only player. Oh no, no, no. The device is up here too. Uh, yeah. Had almost a chance at a second shot, but not to be. Nico takes down that AWP player, extends the man advantage for FaZe Clan, and it seems as though Astralis want nothing to do with this round. Farewell, Salu. That's three augs saved for the next one. One voyage? Yeah. Chef Boy RD. They, came, they, uh, they did a good job of pulling Glaive out of the pit. It's not hard to sell Astralis a bill of goods in that regard. They, they, they pulled him out of the heaviest anchor spot on a site, right? The spot you're not going to rotate. You're going to rotate out of last, and you're going to really hope the rest of your teammates do their jobs, and they did it in a 5v5. So to catch him in flux between the long corner and the pit was a big move from FaZe, and um, all the presence they made on Cat, I guess, or whatever they did at mid with Olaf, Smoke, and Flash was enough to convince Astralis it was probably going to be some type of mid to B split. It made them second guess themselves. And Niki here, I guess, is just waiting for a flash, and they're going to go right off of the bomb exploding, so it guises his footsteps, and he does spot one. Goes ahead and grabs the first kill. His initial target stays alive, so that's something. Loses his own in the meantime, but that's all right. It did seem like a suicide mission to fly through the windowsill. What's the end result? What's the buyback for Astralis? Remember, just two augs kept. Deagle, CZ, a frag grenade. Yeah, it's very mixed up. Curious to see its intention. It's going to be hard to pull off anything normal, prototypical, like a three like a three long setup. And that's a good reason for FaZe to go there. They don't have enough nades to hold on to it. So even though Astralis want to buy here, they're putting themselves at risk. Magic though, getting the first kill could change the tide of things before it even begins. Uh, now made it a 5v4. They're scrambling back to make sure they can kill Magisk, and he's not done killing them. Whoa. He's going to lay down the damage. Nico, 4 HP between him and Death. However, Device just got his head popped. Also towards the top of mid. Down range goes Dupree. Zipex welcoming them forward. Decides to actually go for the shoulder peek. And I mean, that's a, that's a gunfight that will favor the AK every day of the week. Including Sunday. Interesting to think about uh, what Zipix is planning here. He has a feeling about someone at long, but Olaf has picked the correct timing. He's going to be able to abuse him unless Zipix finds a better gun. Yeah, dropped off Catwalk to go get that AUG. Makes the most of it once he has his paws on it. Oh, but yeah, Nico has the element of surprise here. Yeah, he's heard him. With the way Glaive just charges past, surely he doesn't anticipate a player being just back behind him. 40 seconds. We'll see. But is he going to kind of congeal into his spot, or is he going to peek out the window and get yeah. into on mid? And then by that point, it's a reset, right? The other question is, you know, does Nico even actually activate off of this? Because it seemed like he could have just stayed hot on his heels. Instead, he sat stagnant towards spawn, allowed Rain to go off on his own. They're trying to stir a rotation, and it's really on Glaive once again to decide, is he going to move from oh. his anchored spot? And he's not going to. Oh, Glaive, you rascal. 
They had that moment. They pulled him out for a second. Adiko he... has four health. <laughs> okay. Oh, 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 that's it. Sayonara round comes to a close. Unless Rain can sprint into the bomb site fast enough, hold up. Glaive just has to hide one second, and he's going to do it. Evades execution and pulls the trigger on his own, walking away with an off. Yeah, and the reward was too tantalizing. Win that in the last moment. There was a small chance he could do it, but instead he dies after time. That's, that's no rough. money in this round. Oh, that's rough. That is really, really rough, yeah. Luckily for FaZe, they've got a bit of a security, security blanket being up five rounds already. Very impressive to do versus the safety side of Astralis. But uh, that, was a, that, was a, that was a pretty interesting, tenuous kind of 2v2 and dragged out to, again, the last few seconds. Pretty interesting uh, mid-rounding coming out. I think the main thing was Nico's timing it was tough because of this tunnel. He had to walk the entire way through the tunnel. Yeah. If he was at the edge of the tunnel and, and Rain had thrown his Molotov into spawn and stuff like that, Glaive would have moved for that second and he could have peeked out. But because he had to be at the back of the tunnel, it didn't buy him enough time and Glaive was too wise this time. We're back into a lower default to bomb. It's going to kind of orbit back to long. We'll go through the motions once again. We haven't seen this spot that device is in been tested yet. He's going to sit up here until they flash him. I think he's actually fallen off now. We saw the long split was very good from FaZe Clan last time. Exact same positions. They're postured up to do it one more time, but will they be successful? Device is the difference now if Glaive stays alive. crawling back up closer to the site. See, that's the that's the rotation. That's that's the guess he has to make every round as the mid DB player, and he's doing it right again. Here comes the volley of flashbangs. Does a terrorist drop down? Yes, they're gonna come at this from two levels of elevation. Zipex gets the entirety of Guardian, follows up onto Rain, but loses his face. And inside of the smoke is where Nico will catch one. Glaive over the shoulder with a double kill of his own, pushes Olaf into the clutch with 15 seconds, but he has that bomb. So he's gonna punch in the numbers. And playing off of the smoke grenade, which he'll use to give some impromptu cover. Oof, good nade. He's looking to session off the 1v1s, but Glaive has got it done. Headshot to finish the deal, and that's Astralis within one round of tying things up at five. Glaive stays alive. They hold on to A. They also had Zipix make that smart rotation back to the site to get two kills, no less. And even though Device dies as the Opper, who I initially suspected would be the X Factor of the round, his teammates were so good there that he could have he died without getting a kill, and it was just fine. We're getting closer to evening up um, with this uh, four, five to four score line now. Again, really well played kind of from all, all three of the teammates. The two that picked up the slack in particular. Uh, last time, they, 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 they seemed like they were postured up for a, a long A cat split. This yep. time they went majority cat. Actually, I don't think they had anyone long. No. Which was a slight caveat. Big reason they were able to win was because they killed Glaive, like no questions asked. Like even Device's spot. He's not able to just stand there at car easily if yep. Long is taken, so that's something to think about, maybe. A, two, two of the CTs actually just standing in the middle of Long that round. So, you're 100% right. A little bit of a split could have sent Astralis spinning. But right now, to Space oh. Clan charging straight into the B site and getting cut down in droves. Guardian's scout put on his back to swamp the CZ where he's good for one. Zipex, who knows how he gets that kill. What's Olaf up to? Mac 10 doubles back through tons, has bomb, but no teammates, and little chance of pulling this one out of the hat. Oh yeah. Not even the uh, not even the vice can save you here. It's done. There it is. The vice puts him down. Four up on this anti eco again. Very important to think about anti ecos. And a few things that like are lesser talked about, just in in cast in general, or just like counting grenades throughout the round. Um, for the CTs, like that's something people should just be paying attention to uh, most of the time. Just how many grenades are they using early on? How many? Why did they use them? Are they using them because they are panicking? How many do they have left? The, like with under a minute left, and that will define options a lot of the times for the team. You can kind of see where their communication is based on that. Um, and then another is like how clean are their.
I think we're back. I think we're back. Okay. You think so? I think so. I think so. If I think we are, I cannot hear myself, Mohan. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, um, I think I'm back. Hello. So it's going to be the, the me show from here on out. Um, Is anybody there? Yeah. I think we just had a quick power outage, which can happen. Uh, yes. I can hear. Okay. We're going to just... Uh, no worries. We're, yeah, sorry about the delay. There was uh, there was a quick power outage. Uh, we are back online, it seems right. like. We can see the game. Can, I'm good. The game's in motion. Yes. You can hear yourself. That's perfect. We uh, might not be going out to the stream quite yet if we are. We're good. Okay, perfect. 7-6 here uh, with the uh, phase versus the straws. Quick power outage. We missed maybe a what's, Listen, what's important is we got cut out. Uh -huh. The game never shut right. down. Yeah. Right? Didn't so interrupt that at all. The Counter-Strike is in full motion. And now everything's back and running, folks. So you, you just you all settle down, okay? You take a breath. <gasps> yeah, that didn't seem like a very good breath. Like, I don't know. That wasn't very smooth. Eh? I'm not relaxed. I'm intense, Launders. That's... Because right now, we have Astralis, the only team currently at this event who has been flawless throughout the group stage, at a disadvantage of one round versus FaZe's T side. But FaZe wouldn't be the first team to challenge Astralis here on Dust2 and push them the near distance. Had a 30-round game versus Ents, a deep run versus Liquid. Uh, lots of very relevant demos to, to, to look yep. at and practice off of. All right, so what's, what's the deal here? Zipic basically just has to help out a lot. His device is not in a great spot, um, especially if someone comes up cat. He goes down instantly. Device is getting swung on right away. Nico takes his face off. And now the CTs rotate out. They're actually looking to save immediately. Dupree is pushed into a position where he has to hit a shot. He, he does deliver, so the, the save can potentially be on. But uh, but but baseline pull out another round. It's been a tumultuous half. They've they pulled together two ecos that didn't seem possible, but then past that actually have put together some rifles as well. Um, on the third round, I thought, okay, Astralis, are just they've got to figure it out. It's fine. There, you know, they won the ego back. Like that was a blip on the radar. Nope. Not true at all. Face had a ton more to show, and yeah, uh, it would be the first time that uh, that Astralis have been pushed to the edge on this map, so potentially just an issue. And this might affect the veto for the final, which is a pretty big deal, you know? Yeah, just, the sun. They want the other teams want us too. Well, it's not. Well, it'll just be nice to see Astralis get back onto a map that they, they clearly dominate. You know, like the, the 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 advantage of playing best of ones versus Astralis is that you can ban both Nuke and Inferno. Uh, they're uncontestable maps, so it seems. If this is their third choice, you know, and ends up being a decider, then we, we could have a very good three-map series on our hand. But like, uh, I, I, on it, I think that, I was, say, I was saying in the green room, I really think that Ents should just go ahead and play Nuke. Their Nuke looks really good right now. Um, it's probably not, like, it's probably not nearly enough, nearly good enough to beat Astralis, but if you look at, like, how the major final went, you know, you, you just you can't do that. You can't yeah, just, like, can't take him to Inferno. Try something else. They've worked on it. It might be fresh. No one wants to play Astralis on Nuke. Maybe that could be the difference. The amount of time they've had uh, left to kind of gross down on the map. Potentially. We'll see. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Down here on long. Good enough for one single kill. And Device is yet to reveal himself. We'll see. Oh, how cautious the T's were going to be. And there's your answer. Guardian keeps eyes up. Catches Device. Zipex is going to be that rotator coming to join Magisk, I believe. Yes, sir. Head boost up. Puts Magisk into a position where he can go clear catwalk. And if he finds the timing, Nico could be his next victim. Or vice versa. Nico's going to crab walk around the corner and is caught by the AUG. Guardian crawling his way towards Cross with a teammate by his side and one further back because Olaf's incredibly tagged. So Bogda Bogdan's law. Puts the opera towards the pit. Double smoke, frag deep. Not any substantial damage, and Magisk gonna be cleared instantly. Good rifle play from Guardian. Hey man, they're keeping it simple. They're getting up there, they cross long off two smokes. There's not much that you can really delve into about this strategy, and Astralis probably knew what was gonna happen all along. Um, but uh, this, this retake is getting easier. Although that's true. I'm sure in their mind's eye, they can see there's probably one site, one ramp, and one long. That's just pretty simple, but it's going to be hard to yep. get the better of them. But they've got to. This bomb hits the halfway point. Zipex will trade and is then slain by Rain, who closes this one out with a 9-6 advantage for FaZe Clan over Astralis on the T side of Dust2. Four rounds at the very end. We had that back and forth affair to begin the entirety of this BO1. And now, however, we'll swap sides to see what Astralis have in store. We know their T sides on Dust2 have been great. So 
I don't think FaZe Clan are in the clear, but I am happy to see them with a three-round buffer. It's cool. We uh, like FaZe are one and three in the tournament. Uh, Straws are four and zero. So just to, you know, like don't, I mean, uh, uh, just to sit on that and think for a second. This is a pretty pretty outstanding performance from them already. And it didn't come off the back of any easy rounds. They've all been kind of insane, in fact. So now we're into the next pistol, which could be an evening factor. Guardian going to take on Magisk's role from this site and get shot over top of the box. Device with a clean movement in the middle of flashbangs finds a way to find his head. Ooh. And the B site is totally compromised. In fact, everybody's dead. Adrian, the last man alive, is running as fast as he possibly can, but it's already far away and getting pushed. He'll tap back to the double Ds are down. Device and Dupree slain first. Who's next? Could be Magus because he flirts with the windowsill. Third player comes back through tunnels just to confirm. Oh, do full it up, presence. why not? Adrian, not going to get anything more than a third, but a valiant effort as Astralis find themselves on fire. Flames consuming FaZe Clan at the moment. Uh, that's not true. What you looking at? <laughs> they can't be on fire. Yeah, you're right. Eh? Because, yeah, Astra uh, FaZe won the last four rounds in a row. Maybe this is signs of things to come. <laughs> yeah, maybe, maybe they're pre on fire. Yeah, maybe they're preheating the oven at the moment. Uh, maybe it's obvious. They're obviously going to be on fire in this app, so why not call it now? Oh, okay. Yeah, see? Oh, oh I thought, okay, I thought that was Wouldn't another that have kill. just been nasty? Yeah, another tag up on rain. Yeah, all the while, Dupree's going to get that entry onto the B-bomb site. Olaf in no man's land. Oh, hell of a flick Woo! shot. Down goes Dupree. Rain's going to fall back off of this. Magis can't catch that angle on his retreat. And FaZe Clan have been unable to catch anybody else out of position, but Device will be found alone. Swapping over to the Glock only to die. That's a second scout in the hands of FaZe Clan, but more notably, another round for Astralis. Retake's not going to happen. They'll tuck tail, keep their pea shooters, and try their hand in the next one. What are like the five most fiery things to like, you know, you're just like a small flame at yeah. first, right? Like you, a like an ember? An ember? Okay. Wait, hold on, hold on. Did somebody What's up? Zipex just climbed on top of the car in T spawn and jumped on top of a position I didn't know existed. Look, oh, uh, wait, this is around. He's gonna say the people at home can't see what I'm talking about, but he jumped on this. I didn't know you could get up there. Hmm. Regardless, sorry folks, distracted. What about your five fire launders? What are you talking about? Embers, flames, coals? It's going off on a tangent a little bit. I was okay. just thinking, I mean, since they're pre on fire, then we're kind of trying to draw that storyline now. Yeah, they're embers. They're embers, and then they're, what, they're flames? And I'm just, I'm thinking stage five is supernova, but I don't know what to put in between there. But we might, I mean, we might never get there. FaZe might win this round. We'll Very see. true. They've, uh, they've got a couple of scouts, they've got three pistols, and uh, they've, they've had worse buys and done more before, so. Why not? Rain, instant uh, instant first kill with that HE grenade to long. Three players are testing B presence. There's two waiting for them, however. Olaf here behind the big box. Will he get spotted? He does see one for himself, and it's going to take attention away from the other one who comes quiet oh. across the screen. Two B two P two fifty kills easily, and now it's a 3v2. What's the next move? So much time for either team to make the next mistake. The bomb has not been planted. No, it's also sectioned off from the site itself. It's cut off. Base plan, they're not going to wait. They're going to actually challenge the bomb site despite Magisk being all alone. And oh, this is going to call Nico back down through tons. Device on his heels. Tunnels is what I'm referring to as he does catch the back of Nico. Now what? Adrian, I mean, you're a last known bee. Uh, so it would be a crazy play for him to come back here, but you would just be kind of a fool to, to come back to B, right? You know he was like dedicated to the site. Why, why outplay yourself when you know you could beat him to A in any situation, as opposed to like going B late, which would be like the ultimate super crazy 4D underwater backwards backgammon chess read. Did you follow that? No, you lost me at backwards. That was so, pretty early on. Instead, time's burned off the clock. Device has crossed the long and... Uh, Adrian doesn't seem to know where he went. <laughs> Both players probably confused the situation. The option's so open, but Device does get back into his cubby. Keeps eyes on the site. Smoke onto the bomb, but he's got it. Device not even going to struggle in that situation. Hot on the heels of Nico. Opens it up into the 1v1. Mm -hmm. 
Adrian's last known position on the opposite side of the map. I mean, it all falls into place for Device, but at the end of the day, he does have to pull the trigger, and he gets the job done. S small matter of timing there. This um, was gorgeous. Yeah, I mean, Olaf was just being patient, and he realized he can, like, push the side of the box, delay even longer, as long as that Tunnels guy, who you would expect to have line of sight on big box, is not actually watching it. Someone just comes flying into his screen and gets them both. That's really nice, but... Um, you know, Nico's holding that angle for so long uh, from the lower stairs and unfortunately, like, misses the timing. And then Device also picks up a scout on his way into lower. So really just the perfect storm there um, for Face Clan to go up against. Could have been able to secure that. And uh, Astralis is due in uh, another. So the prophecy might be coming true as, as Astralis are up three in a row. Poised for the long hit. Well, the 4-1. The, the from sparks to embers yeah. to flames, right? That's where they're at right now. Okay. So you just need to think of two things bigger. I mean, you could help me, but that's yeah. firestorm and supernova. Okay. If you want to really take it far. Yeah, I don't think those would have been as cool if you didn't say them so cool. So, <laughs> but that's good too. Nico uh, has lost half his HP. Brent, can you pull off a glaive here from the pit? Oh, he's gonna fall back after the first one. Welcomes them forward. His support is inbound as well. Rain is gonna flirt with the side of the smoke, but he's lost his teammate. And now he's put himself into a dangerous position, so he will retreat as quick as can be. He's got Nico to help him on that op. Uh, it sucks when you think you need to go back. They don't have their options open. That's why you gotta diversify your portfolio a little bit. Tough spot for Astralis to be in, continuing to make presence as well as the clock bleeds down. Do they have another smoke for the perfect cross? They do, so that's something. Oh, almost takes a bottle to the head. Nico just dancing around the bomb site. Gives up his position, and now all the CTs, despite the two on Cat, are down beneath. Nice kills, though, coming off of Phase Clan. Eight seconds left over. Device with just one tux tail, and Nico's not going to let him get away. That is Phase Clan ending the flames of Astralis and getting double digits first. Sure, yeah, into the, into the real rounds now, um, nearing the end of the game, round 20 and uh, a phase clan of the first to get 10. This is pretty cool stuff. That was a nice hold. Um, overall, Astralis kept it very bare bones on that round, went out to, to long, and then after the 4-1, losing the extra player, didn't think about any other options, just kind of continued on. Now back on to a save here. They got mostly deagles in play. And we have yet to see what they want to do. Device running basically fast cat. Um, phase clan have just tucked themselves into their usual spots, their nooks and crannies over on the B site and have someone on flex working on uh, making sure that no one can sneak out mid. That's rain. Misses the bounce on the nade. Nico. No real blade nail into the wall. Comes back in for Magis. Anticipates the long peak, but can't stop it. So that's Zipex up into the M4. Device's Deagle already on the bomb site. Olaf down here towards spawn as his two teammates will head long. Does Zipex anticipate this? You know, there's different types of clutches. This isn't a 1vx, but it's a high pressure situation and he almost seemed to find them. Will peek out, spotting the shadow. That makes his first job easier, but doesn't expect that one. Rain just standing up in no man's land will continue the success of FaZe Clan. 11-9 now, 20 rounds deep. And Astralis will come in with another buy. Yeah, yeah, into 22. An op out for a device. Everybody's got nades this time. It's, uh, it's, it's, a real, it's a real match we've got on our hands. You can't, you know, until, I mean, literally until this game's over, it's, it's not for Astralis. So um, per face clan, I'm sure they feel the same way. What's their CT side plan this time around? They're going to go ahead and cross mid with two. Nobody gets tagged on the cross. It looks like a pretty adamant. Uh, three long setup. One's going to be crossing. They have support nades from the other two. And that pit player goes down. That's a big find for Zipix. That bit of treasure is going to open up options for the rest of the round for sure. As we can see, you know, that gun being scavenged. Pit control being now re now claimed by Astralis. Nico being forced off of the freedom to play car. Uh, the freedom to watch Cat. Uh, the freedom to just sit on one angle instead. Now has to double between two and... Gets his head blown off by Device on a very precise flick. Guardian up close, though. Glaive just wildly spraying through. That's going to cost him his life with ease. Takes down that bomb. Rain's going to get back behind boxes. There is a pinch coming in from Dupree that could very well skewer Rain, and sure enough, he'll die. Guardian now has to reside within spawn. Falls back. Teammate, two. 
as he comes up the catwalk. Finds himself smoked off. And has to decide whether he opts to push through this. Guardian not by his side to support him. Not entirely sure what his choice will be. And there it is. Guardian just heading back for the save immediately. Two ops retained for Astralis. Do they want to keep these for the next round? I don't I don't know. If they're, it's like uh, it's something that could slow you down on the T side. It's interesting. Maybe they just want to make sure that it doesn't change hands and that they can't they can they keep, keep tabs on them. But yeah, it looks like one's traded out in the, the go save pit, as you normally would. Um the the, the, the game looked like it could have gotten out of hand there. FaZe definitely had a had a good chance in that round. Yep. Uh, if certain. Device didn't hit that fantastic flick, I mean, maybe the outcome is completely different. A game of opportunity there as uh, they were able to catch Adrian crossing the pit. And once they were able to secure pit off of that, um, again, uh, the, hitting that really clean flick, pushing Nico into an awkward position, just really immobilizing the op, which is the exact opposite of what you need to do if you want to shine. So now they're going to go ahead once once more, brute force their way out long. Magus to lead the way. It comes Olaf, even despite Glaive having a little bit of cover there. Yeah, it looked like every single bullet hit. Yeah, the Maestro will not only get that opening kill, but wrap back round. Remember, one of the two AUGs. He even gets the headshot versus Zipex. Nasty. But that AK bests him. Dupree cautiously put back in the corner. Cuts off the aggressive play of FaZe Clan and then goes one better. Nullifying Guardian in the process. Adrian, USP only to his name, will work up through mid. The T's have pushed past. By the time he gets behind them, they're already going to be on the bomb site. And unfortunately for Adrian, he's completely alone, Launders. Mm -hmm. His teammate's dead. And he outnumbered four to one, but it only takes one single shot versus a tagged up Zip X. You could say the same for the op. That's the thing I say, right? What's for, that? Uh, one, everyone before starts with a kill. Yep. Okay. There was a chance there. It's a, a brief glimmer in the galaxy. But it was uh, quickly ashed out. 11 to 11. Make a wish, Connor. But don't tell anybody. Okay. Yeah, because that would ruin it. You know what? All my wishes have already come true, Launders. Yeah, you know no I'm talking comment. about you. I have no comments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to get in on this. Um, but will Astralis get in on B? There are so many people here ready to go. The smoke, though, immediately for, you know, FaZe to let them know. We, we know what you were trying to do, right? Yeah. That's why you waste those extra bullets. That's why you throw that flash once in a while. Just like, here, we're telling you we're making presents. You can read that however you want. But we're telling you, you don't get to walk in. You don't get to take any unnecessary risks. And here they're going to have to flash through his smoke. And now it's on Olaf to defend. Whoa. So many bodies coming at him that he didn't know where to look. And because of that, finds himself with nothing but range so quickly on the flank. Just charges through the tunnels and charges through both Zipex and Device. Beheads them both, putting his team in the man advantage. Barely. Guardian, a single point of health is what would make the difference still. He dishes it back, catching Dupree with something. As Nico clears Magisk, Adrian looking to find the timing here on the push through smoke, but it is being watched by Dupree, and oh. still he loses that gunfight. Glaive gonna have to clutch this out. Down he goes to the opera of Nico. It's FaZe Clan back in the lead. What an amazing shot. I mean, a kill from Adrian. He was done. I mean, they had the perfect setup on that. That was a hard shot to hit if he was gonna be boosted up on double stack with a teammate in front of Big Box, peering at a smoke that someone was walking through. It was the perfect setup. There was really no way to fail, and uh, somehow, both kills fell into place. FaZe can, FaZe Clan, and FaZe can, I guess, pick that up. Um, that's, uh, yeah. Thank that's you. a good save. Yeah, thank you. Um, so I, I, it really didn't seem like they were going to build. Look, look at this. Look at how, like, strong this setup looks after the first two kills come through. And then Nico has to hit that perfectly, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 Yanko. Kind of emphatically clapping at Nico. Really looking forward to, at the potential prospect of pulling out this map win. That would be big. Big if true. Always got to be careful when you got a guy like Dupree out through doors, drawn into the attraction of 
plucking a player out early. But Guardian's not alone. Scott Nico also scoped up here towards mid. Look at this leadoff. Uh, I don't know if does Guardian know where he is. He he has the utility to use oh. on him. Oh my god. Oh, no. oh it was Nico. Okay. okay, everybody calm down, all right? It wasn't that great of a shot. <laughs> here comes Kill the wave up catwalk charging through the flames. Good for just one. Nico, again, a saving grace. Device wants the trade and will do so. Finding Nico on his retreat around the corner. Couldn't find sanctuary nor safety. Magisk. Charging upwards. Zipex, he's the bomb carrier, and he's all the way back towards T spawn. There's still 40 seconds, so it's not the end of the day. He can take his time, but all the time they give up to the CTs could allow them into the round, unless you've got Device continuing on. One after another dropping bodies, but he's missed a shot. Opens up an opportunity for Adrian to do just that. Now, still, they're going to try their hand at the A bomb site. Know that the last player is here, of course, beneath them. Olaf slips back towards mid. Keeps the AUG and will give up the plant for Astralis. Yeah, let's see the 1v2. I want the scrappy round. Olaf looked like Ooh, he turned tail and, and hid, but instead he's re-aggressing. And they use that smoke on Catwalk, so obviously they are anticipating this too. Magisk, he's just got that ump up, and it's not even needed. Deagle, close, gets the job done. We're tied at 12 once more. Wow. This has been a back and forth affair. Trading rounds over and over. Yeah, is that Magisk at 19 at 7? and Or sorry, it's 19 and 14, 7 assists. But he had three kills on that round. Didn't upgrade his Deagle for the entirety of it. Really nasty stuff. Oh, still a pretty good flick. Not quite as amazing as it would have been yeah. if Guardian hit it, but still. Not bad. And also um, pretty damn important, I suppose. So, um, you know, ultimately it comes down to Magisk with that one dig, I think, really being the last nail in the coffin. CT's nuts to butts at long here. But no T's to, to come out towards him. This is when silence just blankets the server. Mm -hmm. Big guessing game. But there's a lot of movement from the CT. It's like a lot of loud movement. Pretty just gonna slide his way up catwalk. Bites off a bit more than he can chew. A mouthful of phase plan waiting for his extension. Rain's gonna charge up, wants that rifle. Oh, but he can't get away. Burnt to a crisp. A Norwegian treat. Still, Guardian did get his paws on one gun. That's the AK. Tries to spam through, looking to get lucky. And, and that's the big move. That's why you kind of always want to have options open if you can. Like, you lose the 4-1, you lose your one player. That's, that's, a, that's a problem, because you've got to go back. You know, your fog of war suddenly is, is overwhelming. You've got to think that, oh, CT's going to push all these different spots. But if you can, if possible, have a player on another part of the map, just in case your execute doesn't go as planned, or in case you need to slow it down and then use this other person to come out as a flank, like, there's so much value in that. And that was magics, magics there to kind of have the baton uh, ahead of the game into B tunnel ready to get in the site right away. Whereas if he's not in the, at the end of the tunnel, yep. he's kind of on the other side. They have to come back into B tunnels and they have to re-exec into B. And then it's a whole big thing. They're alarming the other team. And it's all because they think someone might be in the site. But with him there, he can try to just become actionable by, by being, um, being, a, being a surprising threat. Guardian looks to hunt down these kills at the end of the round. Loses a lot of health, but it stays alive. As we can see, he has, has that AK still. Astralis with 13 rounds now are, are back in the lead. And their feet are... Not so firmly planted, but uh, they're, you know, they're, they're still looking sharp at the very least. It's a little wobble in the stance, but they're still trudging along and moving forward. Oh! Ha! Farewell. Damn. Another one of those. Something that has been haunting uh, players in Counter-Strike for 20 years now. Oh, Rain's so lucky to be alive. Took so much damage just spamming through that smoke. Astralis, they were already close. Combining that nice op pick with a charge down middle. I feel like if they find rain, then the entirety of Astralis just crunch onto Olaf, the sole defender of the B site. So it would have been. But speaking of sole defenders, it's Adrian alone on long. It's a great position for him to be in. He knows that Astralis do, do this late and have done it quite often already in this Oh, but game. he jumps the gun! Damn, he tries to go out for the pre-fire and, you know, I mean, could have been smart, but now Nico's in a tough spot. He's just going to go ahead and go right for the peak, right into three players that have crossed wide. They have not wasted any time. Hog scoped up. 
trying to hold this off, but they do anticipate Magisk or somebody going for a kill from mid, and they will catch him. Rain able to retreat now. And Olaf will do the exact same thing. They want to keep those two guns up as they give Astralis round 14. We've seen this over and over. You know, it's it, it it's not impossible to take Astralis to this point in a match, the 25 to 30 round distance, but it's finishing it with a win that nobody has been able to do so far here in Sao Paulo. Yeah, and not just Sao Paulo, right? Just cons All consistently, the like, even when Mouse Sports almost took them on nuke, when they, like, legitimately had a good chance. They got up to the scoreline as well. Astralis just took it over the line, and so it's just like this, you know, their, their ability to play like it's always round one. Um, it's, it's something that's really, I think, uh, paramount to their success, and uh, they're showing signs of it again here in, in round five of uh, Blast South Hollow versus FaZe. I think, you know, for FaZe, they've just, they just love this for posterity. Be able to win this match, you know. Yeah. Like, we actually, we did this. This would be nice. But um, Astralis just aren't going to hand it over, even though they have finals guaranteed. Just to get more than one win. Because that's where they sit at the current moment. FaZe one and three, four rounds deep, and Astralis gunning for the flawless group stage, securing first place already. But you know, you get an extra star if you do it smooth. Yeah, a little sticker star right in the forehead. Right between the eyes. Always makes it feel good. Aggression out, long A yet again. No defense there to hold them back. Full presence at the moment, but uh, look what happens. Uh, op comes loose. It's over outside B at the moment. They're not spotting mid this time. They know that Olaf has pushed up mid, up cat many, many times already. They have eyes on that just, just for the time being. Zipix has gotten the better of him before. So they're going to leave him in charge, but now they're, again, making their way all the way back. And this is the whole point of having, es having an escort, having an option open. So the difficult part for FaZe Clan is they're kind of claustrophobic on A. They are grouped up really heavily, in fact, on, on Cat and on Site, but they have no vision on Long. No audible cue to go off of, and Astralis have completely assorted themselves in the B Site. Now, going into lower might change things. But we'll soon see how that goes. He's going to make his way away yeah, and doesn't even enough. expect that at all. You could see his teammate leaving because the smoke faded. Rain lingered a little too long. Gets cut down for it. Guardian alone on this B defense has three bodies. And it's just as he changes position. He has this narrow gap of an angle. It's only once he exposes himself fully that Astralis come gunning for him. And sure enough, like a hot knife through butter, Astralis have just smothered base land here. Oh, okay. Uh, whoa. Sickening. Like a buffalo chicken wing. Nasty, nasty stuff. Nico, looking for another one, but he is frantic. He is desperate. He is dead. Astralis, three map points as they shoot for that fifth win. And, and if we look at the money, two scouts already. Augs, I mean, it's bargain basics. It's a goodwill buy. It's not pretty. Uh, yeah, phase man. They, they flirted with the victory. Now, it's going to be the hardest test so far. And it's only to, uh, only to even out. They wouldn't even be able to take this over the line. Astral has secured their point to the very minimum. So four rounds, four wins, and a point so far at the tournament. And it's Astral. So we're just going to brute force their way into B. But Guardian Scout is doing work. Yeah, that's going to poise Olaf. Oh, man. Puts him into great position for a possible multi-kill spray down, but he only gets himself one kill. There's a couple of guns in the tunnel that that, uh, that FaZe want to recover. I think Astralis should make that a point of interest. They know that uh, that could attract talent to those tunnels for a second there. Um, but FaZe Clan don't seem to be too keen on grabbing those just yet. They, they're fairly worried that there might be a re-aggression or that, in fact, that the trap is set. Um, Astralis working their way back to mid. Definitely very smart to do, especially on high utility. Um, especially when they want these long range duels and they know that it's worse guns that they're going up against. One player at long means this could be a post plant that they can't afford. Adrian's not going to be able to take a, an early fight before the bomb goes down. Have a Astralis done it, Connor. I mean, it's looking good. They'll get the bomb site without contest at all. Nobody hot on their heels from Catwalk either, but Magis seems wary of it. Oh my goodness, five players in such close proximity. The bomb plant sound confirms this. Device 
Gonna clear rain, but the Molotov, that blocks off their exit. They're not able to escape just yet. Nico's close on ramp. He gets himself a second kill, but doesn't see device. Adrian's able to trade it, and we are going one round further, folks. It's phase with 13 and two rounds to play. Oh, holy smokes. Was that a really, was that a really dumb but a difficult shot for uh, Adrian? Yeah. Considering his perspective and the smoke and the railing that would have been in his way, so really well done there. Good play from uh, Nico, and it just, yeah, good rotational call probably from Nico to have his him and his teammate go there just assume that it's going to be a make that kind of gamble read in a moment where they needed it like certainly felt like if the bomb went down standard and they were all spread out and they didn't have great guns like there wasn't a good chance they would win but they made that early rotation in and, and won the round by the skin of their teeth but that's what's the most important part and now uh phase are are still looking pretty decent here so everyone could be the last rain taking a spot of damage as uh whoever it was maybe device escorting glaive down mid We'll continue peppering off shots. Glaive's going to hear that, that switcheroo of players from the left and right side. But it doesn't seem to want to act on it. Instead, they just kind of want to move it around as, as fast as they possibly can. Spray goes a bit sour from Rain, and he can't get a kill. And over here on B, they're trying to irk their way in, but Guardian seems well prepared. Oh! Okay, I mean... <gasps> Op beats Og. 96 damage dealt, but one thick bullet later, and Guardian's down for the count. Zipex, well, he's won his duel elsewhere. This is a five versus three advantage for Astralis. Staring victory in the face. Nico's gonna charge up, can't finish off that kill. He was using his sidearm because you're talking about a player who is so susceptible to death. Glaive takes the high road, looks down, executes Rain with ease, and it all falls on Olaf. He walks out mid to his death, Dupree to seal the deal, and just like that, Astralis, four wins over top.